right so in the previous video we are done with the um, um, sorry uh, uh, with the Google Chrome installation we clicked on it it worked um, you can see it's still there uh, let's go and install Firefox for the Firefox we're gonna uh, do the same exact steps we're gonna go to the downloads folder by clicking here remember we don't need this one we need the actual uh, uh, thing and we're gonna click on open or deploy so you see it's in the exe for this we need a parameter switch uh, we can click on it online and it can, will go online and search uh, so for pdq they have their own like uh, inventory or pretty good uh, documenting of what works how what switches so we're gonna uh, use that so we're gonna use this switch right here we're gonna copy it and that's all we need we're gonna go back to this thing we're gonna put the parameters in paste so you see this it shows up here and like always we'll go and rename it to Firefox so we know because the concept of the software is that these uh, uh, packages they stay there forever we don't have to do anything else just put these parameters do it and save it and we can exit out of it so these packages they stay in there forever so if, for example you have to reinstall it or you have to deploy it on an, on for example your company added 10 more computers so you don't have to go through these steps again you just come here and click deploy it so the other one method of deploying rather than here is right click on it and click on deploy once it's gonna again choose target we're gonna give it the computer and we're gonna give the laptop you, you, we can use all the, the other computers as well I'm gonna make another video well I'm gonna deploy it to all of them so but that's for the next one make sure you always use this one default not the the like any other because that uh, the admin uh, the account needs to have the administrator uh, rights on not only the server computer uh, wherever you have installed PDQ it has to have the server um, oh sorry administrator rights on the client computer as well so since it's a domain that makes it perfect uh, if you are working like on a work group then you have to make sure that all the work group computers have the exact same username and password for admin accounts all right so we're gonna click on deploy you see it's connecting right there it says running now uh, don't fail me I did fail me a few times already so but that was the trial and error it says running okay so it went uh, past that step uh, So nothing over there, right? It should show up under right underneath the uh, Chrome. Um, sorry, Chrome icon, and it's so difficult to see on the uh, phone screen that I have to go and look at the screen. The X, X, um, itself, the monitor. You see the status successful. We got the green check mark. It says finish under 50 seconds. Second. So if we go on this screen. We, sh we got the Firefox right there. Let's click on Firefox and see if it's like it got installed correctly. It's able to do its job. Like go online. We can open a web page. Mm. All right. Nice. Let's. Go to YouTube. So the reason I did not make, uh, all right. So the YouTube is working. We got it covered. Uh, the reason I did not make the 
uh, trial and error video for this because I was working with two screens and I wanted to make a video where I can show you both screens and it's hard to do trial and error with a phone so normally for trial and error I use the screen capture and that was not possible for both the screens at the simultaneously unless there is software that I don't know of please uh, comment it and in the comment section I will uh, give it a try but that's how uh, you deploy softwares it can be any softwares uh, it can be as big as office or as small as uh, uh, an add-on maybe like we've seen over there uh, in the package library obviously with the with the bigger the software for example office or any other thing uh, it will take longer it will it will not take uh, 57 seconds or one minute and 30 seconds uh, it depends from software to software the bigger the installation files are it will take longer so this is how you deploy um, softwares uh, across your domain and I can keep them here forever unless I have more computers to deploy like uh, in my next video I will deploy them to a bunch of uh, my virtual machines uh, stay tuned for that and thank you for watching if you like this video please share comment uh, subscribe and good night